Good morning, everyone. Putting a starter in Alfonso here, the 71 Westy, and I had a starter that came with it. I go ahead and pull it out. It's a Mitsubishi starter, so it looks pretty similar to a starter that would go in here, Beetle starter. But we're going to go to the store. We're going to go ahead and get another one, so here we go. Okay, we're back with a purchase. So I went ahead with an automatic stick shift starter. And that's what I normally do when I do a manual because that way you don't have to worry about the bushing. Uh, the little shaft under here goes into a bushing on the other side of the transmission, which kind of holds the, um, the shaft from moving. Uh, but I, I don't usually go with those because sometimes the shaft can get jammed up in the bushing, the bushing could go bad, things like that nature, but this bypasses the whole thing. You don't need a bushing with these, so that's normally what I do. An automatic stick shift transmission, well, an automatic stick shift starter will typically work on any type 1, 2, and 3 transmission, but don't quote me on the years. I think it works maybe up to 75, 76, something like that, but it may work to, uh, later ones as well, but that's what I do. I believe it's a little bit more robust of a starter, so we're going to go ahead and throw this in. All right, 17 milliliter nuts out. Disconnecting the battery. She's in there. Right. So I got a lot of connections on this starter that are questionable. It looks like they put a hard start relay in here and they put new wires in here, ran new wires from the front of the car to the back here so I'm gonna have some fun trying to decipher how this thing works um, so that should be fun I'm gonna pull this out now let's pull this washer here there's that
After further inspection, I can see that this is a semi-automatic transmission starter as well. Hmm. It seems like a common upgrade. I started doing this in the early 2000s uh, on cars. Got this weird little hard start relay looking setup on here as well. So I'm gonna try to get rid of this, bypass this whole whole thing, and maybe uh, install a different hard start relay. Look at all this wiring. They got like if you can kind of see this in the video but I got regular this right here is pieces of extension cord that I've used so I got all these wires all these wires here went to the same connection so oh and this one too the positive lead this is weird okay let's get the new one still going here It's not fun getting behind the fan shroud. Let's go look at the harness, the wire diagram, and see how this will connect. Well, connecting up this homemade stuff. It looks like someone made a attempt at a hard start relay, but I just disconnected all the wires and connected how it's supposed to be connected. I don't have any issues at all. Let me take you under here to show you what's going on. Hold on here. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry for the video. Mishaps here. Man, I can't zoom out in here. Anyway, I got these wires that are hanging down here that were connected to a makeshift hard start relay. So I'm not using these anymore. I'm going to go ahead and tape them off. I connected it how? So the the lug right there with the main battery terminal, there's a red and white wire, and that would be terminal 30. There's a spade connector on the other on the top of this starter solenoid. That's a red wire 
I put that on the 50 connector and that basically gives them the uh, starter si signal from the, um, the ignition switch to send the voltage over to the to, to crank it up as a signal wire. Um, it cranked over no problem. Sorry I didn't show you that in the video because I was just doing a test to see if it might work and it did so I don't know what these wires are so I'm going to go ahead and either tape them off or just get rid of them, rip them out and go from there but Herself a starter in Alfonso, so we're back to running again. All right, time to test it out. Let's see if it works. I think it worked. So not bad. I removed a bunch of wiring, extension cords that were from the front all the way to the back, and uh, it was some like homemade type hard start relay. And I guess maybe the starter, because there was an automatic, semi automatic starter in here before, so I wonder if they maybe tried to make a hard start relay thinking that was the issue, because it wasn't starting, and then they found out that wasn't the issue, so they put, put the hard start relay on the new starter. So, Anyway, semi-automatic, starter installed and we're ready to go, so I'm going to be driving this for a daily for a little while, until the engine's installed, and then we're going to go ahead and put the transmission, we're going to get a rebuilt transmission for this as well with the freeway, freeway flyer, so stay tuned.